Jonathan, welcome to On the Block with Jen. Um, I posted that I was gonna go live and I posted my topic and you guys are hot already, you coming in hot. So I'm hoping you keep the same energy as the show goes on, you know, via the comments and via coming on the panel. So as most of you know, who are coming in hot already debating before I hit live, the topic today is cultural appropriation. Are we hypocrites? So the topic today on On the Block with Jen is cultural appropriation. Are we hypocrites? Um, Mark Harris, we are joined by Mark Harris, director, writer, Mark Harris, per usual. Mark, would you like to add anything before I start going in? No, uh, no, I'm, 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 you, you're blind now. I'm blind today. <laughs> I, I'm blind today, you know what I mean? Because I had to rep, I had to rep the subject. So yes, I am blind today. I am blonde today. So <laughs> today's topic, let's jump right in, right? Mm -hmm. So today's topic, cultural appropriation, are we hypocrites? First and foremost, I wanna start with the definition because you know, definitions morph into all kinds of crazy shit, right? So let's just start with the root of it. Cultural appropriation, I looked this up for you guys, okay, specifically, and I'm going to read the, the definition verbatim, okay? And then we could branch off from there. Cultural appropriation is the adoption of elements, right, of one culture by members of another culture. That is cultural appropriation in a nutshell, right? The adoption of other elements of another culture by one culture, right, another culture. So where cultural appropriation has been controversial is because when members of a dominant culture appropriate from a minority culture right you guys got that when 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 it, it becomes controversial when members of a dominant culture appropriate from a minority culture so let's break that down in layman's terms right dominant culture meaning the caucasian the white person right appropriating from let's say minorities black or latin right because we're quote unquote the 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 not the dominant culture right uh, if there's a if there's a poll right we're at the bottom and the white people are at the top right especially in this country so it becomes controversial when the caucasian right because they're the dominant uh, race in this country when they appropriate from us the people of color right so the reason why i wanted to discuss the hypocrisy is because the um you know, the controversy usually stems from, and I think this is a valid argument, right? Where we have been, women of color, have been wearing, let's say, cornrows and braids forever, right? Since infancy. As soon as we can walk, somebody's behind us braiding that hair, right? So we can control the hair, right? So that's been, uh, you know, our lives. That's part of our culture, right? So the controversy comes in when someone like Kim Kardashian, let's say, or Bo Derek, for those of us that are older, wear cornrows or braids, and then it becomes a fashion statement, and it gets to be on the cover of Vogue, right? Then it's in Vogue, it's in style, it's innovative, it's new. If Kim Kardashian, you know, wears braids, or for those of us that are older, like I said, Bo Derek, when she wore braids, it was a big deal. And women of color were like, bitch, I've been wearing braids my whole life. What's going on? Right. So where I say hypocrisy comes in is because lots of women of color, particularly black women who are very, very famous um, in pop culture, do this. What I got going on right here. Right. Right. And this has been I mean, when you bring it up. We've used every excuse in the book, right? I'm just changing, the, I'm just changing. My look. This has nothing to do with white women. I'm just changing my look. I'm allowed to change my look, right? Or the other one, my favorite. Well, there's a tribe, the Melanesians, and they are black people who grow out blonde hair naturally. Sis, 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 sis. Okay, you and I both know, and here comes the hypocrisy. You and I both know that you are not wearing a blonde wig or weave because of the Melanesians. You and I both know that. You and I both know that. 
okay? And I did a little research, because you know I love me some research, right? Um, all the biggest pop stars, Beyonce, Mary J. Blige, Brianna, right? They've all been blonde. Beyonce's always been blonde. Mary J. Blige has always been blonde. Rihanna goes in and out of blonde, right? So I said, do blonde pop stars sell more records, right? I was curious. I'm like, there has to be some sort of marketing situation behind this. Do blonde pop stars sell more records? And I found out statistically, mathematically, 70% of the women that are selling in the top bracket of the pop charts are blonde, right? And remember, we get mad when white women cultural appropriate, right? And capitalize off of it. That's when we get, that's what pisses us off. That we're like, fuck, I've been wearing my braids my whole life. Now she's wearing braids and she capitalizing. Sis, the black pop stars that stay under these, right? Like your favorite, Beyonce, right? She is at the top of the charts. She is blonde. Now, you know, Beyonce has a marketing team, and not just Beyonce, Mary J. Blige, Rihanna, all of them. They all have marketing teams, right? These people that keep track of what sells and doesn't sell, right? They got their PR people and things like that and their managers, right? So if a black woman pop star goes blonde because she knows for a fact, I mean, if I just Googled and simply found out that blonde women sell more records, you know their teams know, right? Because their teams are dedicated to such. So um, are they not capitalizing off of appropriating a Caucasian aesthetic? Because this isn't this isn't Melanesian, right? This is a, this isn't a texture that would never grow out of my own scalp, right? My hair doesn't grow out like this, right? It doesn't grow out in this color, right? But I can find you many Caucasian women that have this hair texture and this hair color, and that's their natural color. So I guess we can equate that to being their culture, right? Being blonde and blue eyed is their culture. Um, as you know, a lot of the black pop artists wear color contacts. They wear blue contacts, they wear green contacts, you know, which makes them look more Caucasian, which results in more record sales, right? So are they not capitalizing off of someone else's culture or are we allowed to be pissed off because we are the minority and whatever we do, okay. So with that said, I am welcoming your comments. I'm even welcoming you to be on my panel and discuss this if you want to rebut, retort, right? Re, 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 retweet. Right, clap back. What do you think about everything I just said? Because I want to get into some some other stuff. But um, Mark, I said a mouthful. Would you like to add anything to it while I while I mess with my blonde trust? Yeah, I do. Check this out. Yes. How does that relate to? Uh, how how does that relate to? Um, in comparison to um, um, like women who are actresses, black women who are actresses. I think it's. I think it's. It's. I think they're one and the same. Okay. So if if we say that, so like if you look at the, the top black actresses, right? Yes. Are they wearing blonde hair? No. I don't think so. No. Right. right? Am I right? I don't think so. No, right. That's what I'm saying. Top so, actresses. I'm thinking right. Viola Davis. I'm thinking Angela Bassett. Right. I'm thinking the creme de la creme, right? Right. Um. So right. no. Mm -mm. So, so I, I'm, I'm thinking. So, my mind is, I'm thinking, like, why the music industry? I know it's, it's, it's a, but not the, the film industry. Like, what's the difference between the two? Why, why do you think it's more done? It's done more so with the with the musicians, right? The black women who are musicians than black women who are, who are actresses. I think that's an excellent question. If I had to guess, if I had to guess. Right. And I could be completely off. You guys can you guys can come fight with me if you like. But if I had to guess, I would say black actresses, they appeal to a certain demographic where pop stars, pop music, they're trying to appeal to masses. Right. White people buy music. Right. So I think they're trying to appeal to masses. And if you're trying to appeal to a certain demographic, then you're going to do this. Right. You're going to do this. I think actresses are different in a sense where it's like they're not trying to appeal to the masses. It's a whole different craft, in my opinion. My opinion alone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? People can come and argue with me. But I think it's an entirely different kind of demographic you're trying to cater to. You're kind of blurry, too. I'm blurry? 
I don't know why I'm blurry. I need a new camera. There's a fucking Mac. Apple piece of shit. I don't know why I'm blurry. But I noticed that too when I when I do my playback. So um, what's up, Angela? I see some people tuning in. Um Clint Jackson Travis made a very interesting comment before we even went live that I want to read. Very interesting. And th and he's white, so this is from a white lens, just to be clear, right? He says, he says, aren't, he says, aren't, basically, let me paraphrase, aren't, aren't other people conditioned to believe that girls of other ethnicities are beautiful, right? Meaning that we're, he's trying to say that white women or other cultures, other, other ethnicities, they're conditioned to believe that we are beautiful, right? I'm talking about black and Latin, right? We're put up there on a pedestal. So he's saying, with that said, you can't have things both ways. Wanting inclusivity and then being pissed off when people be, begin to enjoy the culture. In other words, we can't want to be accepted as women of color. And then when white women start saying, well, shit, I want a bigger ass. I want bigger lips. I want bigger titties. You know what I mean? I want curly hair. I want braids. Like, in other words, we can't complain. We can't want to be included and then complain when these, when these little carrots and Becky's are running around looking like us. Well, that's, that's okay. So that's if you assume that all black women want to be included or accepted. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you look at it like, I'm not sure, you know, there's, um, well, I don't know the sum, but I don't know the majority. I haven't did a, uh, a poll or have many, but that's, I mean, that's just, just to say that, you know, if, 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 if black people, black women in particular wanted to, are they trying to be inclusive or are they trying to assimilate into, you know, into that world? Like, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know. I think a lot of them are. Yeah, def most definitely. I think a lot of them, and you know, I have to throw out the not all to make people feel comfy because if, if people don't hear not all, their brain shuts down. So, you know, not all, I'm not talking about everybody here. Um, but, um, you, you, you know, you freezing up, Jan. Again? Yeah. Monica Fleming, you should need to come up in here too. Uh, you may, you may want to, if you go out and come back in, you should be good because yeah, you're freezing up really bad. Really? Okay, let me, let me, how do I go out of my own live? <laughs> how do I go out of my own live? Remove from stream and then come back? Yeah, yeah. She'll be back, you know, because she was freezing up really bad. How's that? I'm still freezing? Yeah. Oh my God! All right, let me take myself out again. This is so freaking good. I hate this. Hold on. I don't know. What if I click Leaf Studio? Leave, leave Studio. I'm gonna just come back. <gasps> Remember what happened last time, though. Were you able to come back? It was a whole to do. You had to send me the link and all that shit, didn't you? Wait, let me let me try going out and coming back in. Okay. Hey guys, am I blurry to you? Please, somebody, I am begging your comment. Am I blurry or freezing? Am I freezing? Am I freezing? Let me know if I am freezing, por favor. Can somebody comment and let me know if I'm freezing? Can you see me? Am I blurry? Blurry. Ah, yeah, I just asked, and people were saying, yes, I'm blurry, yes, and I'm freezing. I don't know what to do. Should I leave the studio and come back? I'll just yeah, get Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Please stay with me, because I got some more shit to say. I'm leaving. I'll be back. Moment. Okay.
about now? Okay, yes, you much better now. Yay! Okay, okay you're back. I, I'm busy. Okay, so back to what I was saying. If you guys want to rebut, feel free, por favor, right? Okay, so the topic today is cultural appropriation of hypocrites, and I just went down a list of things why I think that uh, that can be viewed as um, hypocritical, right? And I'm going to marry again. All right. Marry again? This is, uh, this is just not good. This, this is not good. You guys, need, you, you guys need this in full effect. I'm really pissed off right now. Did you go all the way out? I went all the way out. I left, I left studio. I'll do it again. My people are gonna be mad at me. I'm leaving. No. It's a conspiracy. So we went for Jen to come back. Uh, she was kind of, um, her, her, her video was freezing up. You need a new Wi-Fi extender. Probably so. <laughs> How is it now? Okay. Yes, you're back now. Okay. Janita said, I'm blurry and breaking up, but you were fine and clear. This was before I came back. Well, well Mark has a, a better situation over them than me, apparently. Okay, so um, am, I, am I clear? Yeah. Who's your internet with? Um, top table. Okay. Yes. Go down there and smack them. It's the, it's the, it's the biggest internet. Uh, I don't know, but see, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the that's, Mac or the cable. That's because of all, uh, all those casinos taking up all the internet. They're closed. Uh, I don't know the problem, then. I'm gonna figure it out. Am I blurry though? Huh? Am I blurry though? Yeah, yeah, you are. So what? Are, what, are, what the fuck are we gonna do? Um, uh, I have no idea why you're blurry though. I'm blonde right now. I should have privilege. This shit should be crystal clear. Uh, Am I blurry? I can see myself. I'm not. I'm blurry, but you can still see me. Am I freezing though? Yeah, it's freezing. Up. We can go in. We can hear you. Come on, let's go. Ah, okay. So it may clean up. Come on. Okay, so, but I'm moving slow, right? Yeah, refresh it. Just refresh. Okay, I'm hitting refresh right now. Hit refresh. I'm hitting refresh. Shit, I do see myself on. I see myself on the cell phone, and I am hella blurry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna figure this shit out. Come on, let's go. We can uh, okay. make it. Right, make it up. I, I'm super blurry. I'm sorry. So, um, okay, so back to the, the capitalizing of cultural appropriation and the definition of cultural appropriation via Wikipedia was basically, you know, when it's bad, when uh, one culture is appropriating another culture and capitalizing off of it. So I, my, the, the question of Rachel Dolezal comes to mind, right? So what if someone is cultural appropriating and they're benefiting your culture and ethnicity? Say like a Rachel Dolezal. Cause she was pretending to be black, right? right? And she was and she was working for the benefit of black people. So So you say, say what's what's the question again? The the entire question? So you said basically what you're saying, like Rachel Dolezal, right? 
Uh huh. What? Because what people it, hey, black people don't like it when white people cultural appropriate and capitalize. And then I explained how when black women appropriate white women, they capitalize as well, like yeah. pop stars. So right? here's here's the difference. What's the difference? So when when you when you see when you see um, when you see black women do it right, walk around with blonde hair, blue eyes. Yes. You know, this is like let's just say the average black woman. I'm not even talking about Beyonce, because we know just like a, a great point that you proved that that we know that it's a marketing team telling them this is what we think you should look like, and they say okay, cool. I'm this is what this is how much money I'm going to make. So. In terms of, you have very few, very few black women who actually benefit from the benefit, I should say, financially, who went uh, from wearing the blonde hair in the context and in the context of all that. But in on average, right? When you see, what you mean? They benefit <laughs> financially. I'm just proving what you. I'm, 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 I'm confirming think, what you said. I don't, but I don't think it's. I don't think it's just you know pop stars. No, no, that's what that's. I'm get to that. Okay. I'm get to that. Okay. Okay, so on the average, let me say, on the, just like your average black woman walking down the street, working at whatever, right? Who who's wearing the blonde hair and blue eyes? Mm -hmm. They don't benefit. They 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 have no, you know, they have no benefit. From, they get no benefit of that from of from that at all, right? Mm -hmm. No benefit. So, but when you when you see white women do it, right? When white women they take, you know, they, just like the Kim Kardashians and all them, you know, when they do it, right? When they do it. They benefited. They benefited from it. So, but over overall, overall, you're looking at black, I mean, white women, right? Mm -hmm. the, the average white woman is not walking around trying to look like a black woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, so, but then she's not walking. So, so I think the the issue comes in. Whereas when they do, I mean, meaning white people, when they do, um, appropriate the, the black culture, right? They they benefited from it financially. Mm -hmm. So, and, 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 but but they're not the ones. Not only do they benefit from it, right? So it's like not only do they benefit from it, right? Mm -hmm. You know. So, but you have you have. So if you look at Beyonce, you look at Rihanna, and uh, who else you said Beyonce, Rihanna, Beyonce, Rihanna, Mary J. Blige has never been. Rihanna. So if you look, if you look at those women who who you said uh, comprise of the seventy percent, right, of the ones who actually. Top the charts and and they had and at my point had the blonde hair. Mm -hmm. If you look at if you look at those women, nine times out of ten, maybe a hundred percent of the time, the people who are backing them financially and marketing them are who are white people, right? Mm -hmm. Who are encouraging this type of behavior? So who are encouraging this behavior? So you don't you know so I mean we're, we're, so the root the root cause of of course the root cause of it we are already know is is is, is, is the root cause of self hatred, but. Then on, on, on top of that, you have you have again you have white people who are promoting who are promoting this type of behavior from your black artists. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, I understand what you're saying. I just think it's full of shit, Malcolm. No, I didn't go to the salon. I'm just this is for the, today's theme. That I still got my hair here. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Um, I think that it you know you know oh. Poor, poor Beyonce making a billion dollars from those white people forcing her to be blonde. Poor Beyonce. I'm not saying force. That, that is what that is basically what you're saying right now. I know, it's, no, I never forced, said force. Because what? Because white people are forcing this standard on these black artists, and that's why they're doing it. I never what said you put words in my mouth. <laughs> I'm not putting words in your mouth. I, I, I love. I never used to word force. White people are capitalizing off of it. They are it's capitalizing not, off of it. Okay, but it's not the black person also capitalizing off of it. Or I, 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 so my, my first my first point I made was the artists that you say been, which I, I agree with you. You looked up the, the facts, so I'm, I'm gonna just say I, I, I'm gonna confirm those facts. And based off what you said, there's 70 percent, and those women who do it, they benefit from it. But I'm saying overall, I'm talking about black black women in general do not benefit who walk around with blonde hair. And maybe context in the eyes, they don't get no benefit from that at all. But Beyonce, of course, we know Beyonce, Rihanna, because you have these people who are telling them, okay, this is what you should do. They're not forcing them. I never said force. This they're encouraging them. This they're telling them this is what you should do because if you do X, Y, and Z, if you wear the blonde hair, blue eyes, based off these numbers, 
you know, you, you can, you know, if you cater to not just your own people, you can, if you, if you look to ethnic, you know, our people who represent 85% of Bando's, uh, by those uh, CDs or by uh, so, what, what, okay, so wait a minute. What's the word you use? Influencing them? Is that what you said? I, encouraging them. Encouraging them. Yeah. So they're encouraging them to be more wealthy, and the black artist says, "Okay." Right, because, but that's not forced. Right, that is not forced uh -huh. because they could easily, you know what I mean. Beyonce can could wear her. Her, her natural hair color and texture. Mary J. Blige could come out from under them blonde wigs and wear her afro. You know what I mean? They can go neo soul. They can wear dreads and an afro or completely shaved head. They can go neo soul. A lot of artists do it, but they they like this, right? So they want to capitalize as well. So I, I, I see them as I with you. being encouraged. No, the 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 white the white executives gave them a fucking um what do you call it uh, a cheat code. And they said, for real? So all I got to do is run around blonde and I make more money? And the white person said, well, yeah, it's true, Beyonce. Well, yeah, it's true, Mary J. Blige. And they went and they did it. They gave them a cheat code and they decided to take that cheat code and capitalize off of it. Right. And are we hypocrites regarding cultural appropriation? Are we hypocrites? Because Beyonce knows that blondes sell more re records. So does Mary J. Blige. So does Rihanna. So do, so do all the other black artists that go blonde. They know they sell more records. They know that. Uh -huh. So, that's but, that's in terms of, but do you hear? Do you hear the message of this? Do you hear Rihanna, Beyonce, those artists? Do you hear those artists complaining about uh, uh, Kim Kardashian and, and, and white women who do appropriate black culture? Do you hear them complaining or complaining about? Well, it's just the average black woman who are you know work. Uh, who do have their own business and walk, who have black the majority the, the majority I can't say they have or haven't I do not know because I don't mm -hmm. want to say no and then there's an article somewhere that somebody said something so I don't know but yes the majority of the people that are complaining are what I would call average working people yes okay so, you know, second question for you so do you uh, so these women who are complaining right about uh about white women appropriate uh, appropriating black hair and the butt and all are these women who are do, doing most of the complaining? Are these women walking around with blonde hair and uh, and, and contacts and ass, or are these women who are normally natural? Because right now we see more black women are going natural. So are we seeing are these are black women who are natural? I, I mean, but that's a question I cannot answer. I don't I don't know who. I mean, I don't I didn't take a poll and say, hey, do you wear an afro before you complain about Kim Kardashian? Does that make a difference? It's all it's all women. It's it's a lot of black women. Have they have those black women ever worn a wig that looks like this? I don't fucking know. But it's a difference, though. What's the a difference in what? Because, okay, so, like, say, for instance, right? Say, for instance, you, you natural. You wear your hair natural. You don't put chemicals in your hair, right? I do put, chemi I do put chemicals in my hair. Oh, so you want to be a white girl? No. I just can't. You know, so you, know, just, you don't just use shea butter and, and, and no. with water? No, no, I don't have the fucking time. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. Wait, wait, wait. So now, you, now when I have when I have carte blanche and I got, you know, I'm in the tax bracket where a hairstylist could come and shea butter me and twist me up and you know, bantu knot me. Talk to me then. Okay, until so now, until then, no, creamy crack. Creamy crack. Oh, so we got perm. Yes. Okay. It's not a perm, it's a relaxer. Perm makes okay. your hair. Okay, so you have a relaxer. Yes. So are you appropriating white women? No. So what's the difference between? Wait, wait, wait. The difference is, let me tell you something. The difference is, I'm gonna tell you what the difference is, right? And I'm so <laughs> glad this is coming up. I'm so glad this is coming up, right? Because at the time, no, listen. Well, why you got that blonde hair on your head? You might want to take the blonde hair off your head and just go with the perm. I mean, I'm no, sorry, I'm the, mother, the relaxer. No, we're talking about blondes. No, no, we talk about overall looking like white women. Okay, are you gonna let me talk? No. <laughs> are you Go gonna ahead. let me talk? Go ahead. Okay, I am glad that this is coming up, especially because I am Latina or Latinx or Puerto Rican or whatever you want to call me. I'm glad this is coming up because whenever I get into a discussion online with women and hair texture, they always assume that I am what I call a deadhead, right? A deadhead, which is like you know, dead hair, and I just wash, and then I, I run in the sun, and it no, dries perfectly. No, if I, if I wet my hair and run out in the sun, I will be Jackson 5 in this bitch, okay? I will be Jackson 5. 
So I have to do the wash and set with the rollers and you know, my, my hairstylist does the little knots and you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And then, and then you get what, what you see here underneath the wig, the, the, the hair extension. But I was taught from a very young age because I, because Puerto Ricans are so mixed, right? My mom is a deadhead. My dad grows an Afro, right? So who takes care of the children most of the time? Moms. My mother didn't know what in all the fuck to do with my hair, okay? She didn't have a clue. She was like, what is this Afro shit? I don't know. Lucky for me, my sister knew how to braid, right? So my sister knew how to braid. Then my sister, and I'm the youngest of four, but then my sister discovered creamy crack. And she was like, there is an easier way to take care of our hair. Now I'm young. And I'm like, well, shit, what's the way? Because I, I hate spending a lot of time in the salons. To this day, I hate salons, right? So she was like, creamy crack. And I was like, what does it do? And then she was like, watch. So she did my hair for the first time with the cream crack. And I was like, oh, wow. So I don't have to you know, sit there and get braided and get my hair pulled and be in all this pain and shit like that. So then I got addicted to doing it. But I never did it because, oh my God, it looks so white. It looks so white. And I've even been thinking about how the fuck can I go natural without spending a fucking mint and without spending countless hours on it? Because I've watched videos of women that go natural and I, let me tell you, I commend them because that shit takes a whole lot of pomade and a whole lot of time, right? And I just don't have the fucking time. Now hit me back when I'm when I'm making a couple millions, and, and we'll no, see. No, we can't. No, we can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't let you make those excuses up. I, I but I can't. It's not. Insane. I can't do it now. Sure. If you, I will say this. I'll start a GoFundMe for me to go natural. If you guys want to fund me, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm donate. I'm to go natural. I'm gonna donate the first twenty dollars. <laughs> she froze. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. So we're trying to get it back in right now. Just hold, bear with us. We're trying to get it back in. Bear with us. Thank you. 
Bear with us. This is getting good too. So, so I'm just going, uh, she's, I'm just, uh, I'm just going to, uh, She's restarting, we just restarting the system and getting it back in. Jesus ain't Christ. What's up? You back? I'm back. <laughs> What's up, guys? All right. I'm sorry, man. I promise I will get this together for you. Now, I love you all, and I don't know how y'all do it, but this shit is like wearing a fucking wool hat, so I'm going to take it off, okay? I cannot do it. I'm trying to get this together for y'all. It was just getting hot, too. Fuck. Okay, let's try this again. I, I, I got to take this off because it's too fucking hot. It is hot, hot and mug. Okay. Okay, now we, uh, let's, get, let's get back to me. Let's get back to that perm. I mean, I'm sorry. The, yeah, the, what's the difference between a perm and a relaxer? I, I believe a perm is like when you make, when white women do the little curls and make their hair curly and blue, oh, a relaxer relaxes your hair. But for some reason, we say that's a perm, but I'm like, no, it's a relaxer. I just think it's difference of words or whatever, but I'm like, I don't think it's a perm. I think a perm makes your hair curly. Somebody could correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure. So where were we, please? You, you were making excuses as far as- the I wasn't making excuses. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm not a girly girl. Now I'll start a GoFundMe and whoever wants me to wear an Afro, by all means, you can provide money for it. Well, that's what we're at. You know? I, I, ain't, I ain't got time. I, I, was, I, I was say, I'm making the first $20 donation. Who's back? Who's coming? $20 is, is like one fucking tub of that shea butter. I ain't messing with you. Look, I, I, got, a, I got a big thing of shea butter from the African fest. That's it. I don't have the time. But it's funny <laughs> because even, it's funny because, and that's a, a whole other show, but it's funny because naps, kinks, um, course, like it's something that black women think only applies to them, right? And I'm talking about black African-American, but I'm like, no, there are a lot of Latinas with the same exact hair texture. What's her name? Uh, Amarala, what's her name? Um, Amarala, Amarala Negra. So yeah. when I get into these debates, black women automatically assume that I don't have the same exact hair texture. Like I'm like, sis, wait, it's the same shit. It's the same thing. A lot, a lot of us don't understand, like like, like Laz, Laz Alonzo was saying, a lot of us don't understand history, so. Yeah, but I'm like, no, it's it's the it's the same exact it's the same exact hair texture. But they see Garcia, you know, attached to my name, and they automatically think she one of them deadheads. Um, it's funny because I saw somebody say something about deadhead, the Grateful Dead. So let me let me see some of these comments because I know why y'all don't come on the panel, you punk bitches. Like, <laughs> on the panel. I don't understand. <sighs> They never come on the panel. Come on the damn panel. Let's let's see them pretty faces. <laughs> uh, Raul said, he said 25 million people are unemployed. You talking about giving you a, a GoFundMe? <laughs> well, then don't complain. By all means, do not complain about my hair texture. 
don't complain. Well, it's, it's really it's not your hair texture. Your hair texture is that of an African. What? Well, that's my. That's what I mean by my hair texture. That's my you're hair. Complaining about your hair texture. No, you're complaining that I don't have it in my natural state. Right. So no, you're not complaining about, about your hair. Oh, oh, okay. Whoever's complaining about me not having it in my natural state, by all means, y'all can go fund me or cash at me, Janicia Garcia. Karen, 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 won't you come on? Come on, like Karen says. Read Karen's comment. I'm okay. There's a lot of comments, and I'm missing a lot in them. So to the black lives, let's get there. Trying to blur the line of races to market everybody. Black women, black women are playing a role as just. Blah blah blah, 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 pixelated and then uh, blur and then we're more and thinner. Uh, Karen, Karen, they really stop. They really stop feeling the regrets. They got two point eight million views and two. <laughs> Mark Randall says you done pissed off the white gods, Jen. They ain't having this cultural appropriation you about today. <laughs> yeah, uh, kicked out. <laughs> Um, I thought she was just a light skinned black woman. Who, Janita? Oh, Rachel Dolezal. She she thought Rachel Dolezal was actually black. Yeah, no, I think then we all did. Yeah, I mean, she did a pretty good job, I thought. The man. Ryan Strickland says, May I chime in? Sure, Ryan, come on the panel. Did you throw up the, the, the link so people could come in if they want? No. Mark Randall says, aren't the Kardashians Arab, not white? Um, their their dad is, their mama is white. She's no, like, you have, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're uh, Armenians. Yeah, I mean, her father is, her mama is is snowflake white. Uh, Mark says, majority of the managers and promoters, et cetera, guiding marketing of artists are Jewish, not regular or white folks. Who said that? Mark Randall. What you mean not rep? What you mean no, they just the you mean that the, the the people that own the record labels are mostly Jewish. They're not regular old white people. Well, Jew, Jew, Jewish is not an ethnicity, it's a religion. I know, but he means he means there's a difference between Josh and, and Ishmael. Yeah. <laughs> there's a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> you really believe you kicked off the uh, get kicked off the internet that. I know. They go, <laughs> I ain't got no beef with Jews at all. Jewish, Jews, whatever you want to call. It. I love Drake. Janita <laughs> <laughs> um, Harris says, "Well, this reminds me of when Dave Chappelle said they try to force him to wear a dress multiple times." I agree. You could do. You could do what you want to do. You could do what you want to do. Whether whatever art you're in, whatever genre, you could do whatever you want to do. But yeah, if you have to wear a blonde wig, you you're going to wear a blonde wig. If it, if it a role, right? For a role? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But, it's, but you're right, right. If it calls for a role, so do you think that when they go home that they're walking around or when they go out on the, doing the average that they're just walking around with those blonde wigs on or just when they're, when they're performing? When they're, no, when, when they're home. I, I think when Mary J. Blige is home, she takes off the wig and puts it on the stand. Right. You know what I mean? Because it's part of a costume. But it's still it's still a blonde wig. You know what I'm I mean? Saying, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, let me ask you this, then. Let me ask you this. So what is the difference between what is the difference between it because it's all entertainment, right? When it, as it relates to you as an actress and them as a uh, as performers, right? You all are performing. You all are well. I think it is it is a difference because when you do a, a role, it's not necessarily to you trying to cater to white people, but or the white audience is just because that may cause for the uh, a blind hair may call for that particular role, not because it's in this situation. It's like. You do it, you get more fans. So there's a difference. Right. Okay, cool. Wes Clark says a deadhead is someone who is loyal fan of Grateful Dead. Yeah, that they're, that they're deadheads, but that's what I call people like with that straight hair. Hold up, I'll say. Ryan Strickland, yeah, we covered that. If you go through numerous parts of Africa, you'll see naturally blonde hair, but that's not why women in America are are sitting under sitting under this. They're not sitting under this because they saw a tribe. No. Africa, they're sitting under this in this country. They're sitting under this in this country because they want to appear more Caucasian. Yeah. They're not sitting under this because of the Melanesian. 
Um, right, yeah, in, in parts of New Zealand as well. You see black, dark, but these people are jet black with blonde hair. I saw them, they're beautiful, my yeah, goodness. They're great, yeah. Uh, Rasan, tell her to go a week without chemicals in her hair. Who, me? Are you talking about me? You got to put the names in these things so I know who you're talking about. Uh, well, I think you have to do more than that, right? You have to, you have to cut your hair or something? No, I, I get it relaxed maybe every... No, I'm saying I'm saying if you want to go natural, would you have to cut cut it or? I think so. I think all the way off, like all the way off. I'm not gonna have like <laughs> this attached to an afro. Like I'd have I'd have to like chop it, like completely chop it. Um. Oh, Simeon is here. I don't see, you said who left the comment? Somebody? Uh, your Karen, Karen Ward, she says, I, I'll read it for you. Read it, cause I don't, I, I had to come out, I mean, go out and come back in. Okay, she says, sis, you don't have the same hair type as coarse, thick hair. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna argue, I, I am not gonna argue with you my hair texture. Then, then she says, then she says. I'm not gonna argue wait, 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 with wait, 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 So you don't have this. Wait, wait a minute. Maybe I'm depending on your hair type. You don't have the same hair type as a girl. Then she says, who is tripping about your hair? What? I'm confused because I don't, I don't want to respond the wrong way. I'm yeah, confused. I, I think I'm, I'm reading it the wrong way. I don't think she was. Because you have to have it to read it the wrong yeah, way. And then I read it right. The yeah, maybe I'm reading it the wrong way. Karen, can you come in? Uh, yeah, read it right, Mark, because you're about to get Karen snapped on. <laughs> You're about to get Karen snapped on. That's you know, Karen, the great Karen. Well, come on in, Karen. Monica Fleming. Come on in. So let me. Ask I, don't you. Know, I don't know how you're reading it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would like, I would like Karen to come in, and because I want to, I want to. Uh, or just, or just repeat the question, because now that I'm back in, I can see the comments. You could just repeat the question, because there's no. Uh, she said, she said, one of the questions is, Karen says, who's tripping about your hair? Okay, who's tripping about my hair? Yeah. Are you sure that's to me? Like, who's tripping about my hair? Yeah, Jen? No, she's asking. She's asking the question. Okay, she's, she's asking, asking who's tripping about my hair. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, if, that, if that's the question, like, if I, my answer is if I get into, if I get into a Facebook debate about, if I get into a Facebook debate about hair texture online, the first thing that black women tell me is, I cannot relate, so I need to shut up about it because I'm Latin, so I can't relate to their hair texture. So they mm. trip about it. That's the first thing I hear, but not they and they go by my last name. They're like, her last name's Garcia, so she don't know nothing about over here. And my thing is, my hair texture is the exact same as any black woman in America, the majority. I'm talking about women with coarse hair, because I know they're black. Your hair get nappy. With straight hair. Yeah. Puerto Rican women, y'all hair get nappy. Depends. Well, that's just all. It, it depends on if you. It depends on <laughs> what part of Puerto Rico your hair come from. Absolutely, but not just Puerto Rican. You're talking about Cubans. You're talking about Panama. Mm -hmm. You're talking about Panama. You're talking about Ecuador. You're talking about like all Colombia, especially Colombia. Yeah. Colombia. You know what I mean? Cuba. Like it just depends on that boat stop. Right. Hey, Jen. Uh, so I got I've been to Cuba, right? And we go to Cuba is like going to a country in Africa. Yeah, it is. I got a yeah. question, Jen. Why is Mark combing his beard online? What you talking about hair? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but look, but look. my point, my point is this. Well, that is, that's how that. we, right? That's how we are as people. Because we're talking about hair. Now you're gonna check yourself. Look, <laughs> you gonna, you, you, hey, you gonna check yourself to make sure your hair ain't nappy and make sure you ain't looking crazy. Because now we talk about hair and people are gonna be looking at you. Yeah, so Raul, 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 Raul. that's how Mark thinks of things to, to, to fuck with me with. This, yeah. is, this is where it comes from. When he does this, he, that's how he thinks about things to fuck with me. <laughs> you, you caught on to that, right? Well, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, Raul's Raul like many, many South, South Indians have a darker complexion than Mark. There are Indians in India, as Raul said, that who are triple times darker than me. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, they're black people, like Indians, like you know, and, and 
I can go to like the history, but they're of course, but they won't admit it. A lot of them. But then you have so many mm-hmm. Indians now who are in India who are admitting the fact that they are black. Mark Randall says Mark's beard is trying to cultural appropriate and turn white. I know. I gotta cut it. <laughs> You're about to look like all embrace the your gray. Uh, embrace your gray, gray. Mark. Embrace embrace it. It. Look, look, look. I'm about to give me some uh what you call that? I know you have it. I just I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go. Uh, uh, the, 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 uh, just for me. Just for me. Do you dye it? I do. Why? I, I don't like all this gray. Oh my God. You See? want me to walk around with a whole afro, but you don't want to walk around gray. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. So Kevin made a good point too, but that's just for another topic. He said, well, you, you can read it. Oh, so Miss 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 Henderson says, "Why can't you read these comments?" I'm not gonna read that. I'm not even reading that. Who I see? I'm not reading that. Read it. Read oh, it. Read it. Who? Because I, I can't see it. Simeon's wife. You, I, I can't see it. You you want me to read it, Simeon? Now you tell yeah, me to read it. I read it. Read it. Read it because okay, I can't so, see so, it. When Simeon talk about my gray, my sister Mrs. Henderson Henderson said. Tell him to embrace his, meaning me. Oh, no, she said, tell him to embrace his, meaning you. Because that's what he uses, too. <laughs> I, I tried to warn you. <laughs> uh, and you. It don't matter. It's on there. She put it on there so people can see it anyway. <laughs> they may skipped over it. Hey, boy. Oh, you're, you're, you're not gonna block. Put your block back on, Jen. <laughs> See, y'all like, yeah, yeah, just for men. What, what's that? Just for men. <laughs> can, we, can we please get back to cultural appropriation, not youth that appropriation? Is. <laughs> that it's is. not about youth appropriation. This is about cultural oh, appropriation. I remember sweating. Woo. This shit is hot, though. I give y'all credit. Whoever can sit under this, you know, in the summertime. Blah, hell more, blah, hell more fun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Pays more anyway. <laughs> Apparently. So, Jen. Yes, I am here. Talk. Okay, check this out. Because we ain't got oh. but but a few more minutes. Okay. Um, I have. So check Steve this Robinson, out. This is interesting. Steve Robinson said, "Going natural would mean you can't take all those medical chemicals the doctors pretend are okay for you either." Oh, what? but wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know mine wait is moving from insulin. You, you, Wait a minute. What? He said you, going natural would mean you can't take all those medical chemicals that doctors pretend don't care for you either. I know mine is from insulin. Oh, you take it? You have insulin? You have, you're diabetic? Who? You said yours is from insulin? I No, that's what he said. Oh, he said. Oh, he is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. oh, wait. I was about to say, man, Jim, we know you was about diabetic. No, I'm good. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm strong like bull. <laughs> Okay, David. <laughs> this is okay. Let's get back to it. So, okay. what, what was the other question that Karen asked? You hey, hey, hey Simeon. Yes, Simeon. Yes. So, Jim, right? Can can we bring up the whole, whole thing with the uh? uh so, Jim, what's your question? I'm sorry. No, I didn't have one. I'm just looking at my notes. Go ahead. You want to read your notes before I ask this question? No, I'm looking at that. I cover all of them, and I did, and we're okay. almost at the hour. So, shoot, what you got to ask? Okay, so Simeon. So, do you think there's anything wrong with with, with black women wearing uh, blonde hair? But no, I. You know, when I was introduced to black women wearing blonde hair, Mary J. Blige. My, my no, my aunt, my aunt Martha, my auntie Martha was the first black woman I ever saw wear blonde hair. I was a kid and I didn't understand why her hair was blonde, and and this it was her hair. But she wore her hair blonde, and I was like, you know, I didn't understand, huh? No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about like in terms of a, a, of a wig or weave. What about her dyeing their own hair blonde? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 She she dyed her own. Oh, now now here we go. Some blonde wigs are ridiculous. Like I've seen, like 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 solid gold, like. The the Wizard of Oz yellow brick road blonde. 
That's too damn blind. Now I want to I want to be clear though. I don't think there's I don't think there's anything wrong with what I mean. My daughter dyes her hair literally every week. She's been turquoise, green, blue. Right now it's purple. You know what I mean? So every week she's dyeing her hair a different color. So I don't think there's anything wrong with you know, a black woman that wants to go blonde, I want to stay on topic. Are we hypocrites about appropriation? Absolutely. That's whether or not that is yeah. wrong, because you could do whatever you want to your hair. I don't, you know, you people, do whatever you want to your hair. But the, the appropriation issue, when 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 black people say, well, you're, you're wearing cornrows now and you're doing this and you're capitalizing, there are black women who capitalize off of looking Caucasian and capitalize bigly. <laughs> They capitalize bigly. Yeah, but you talk about a few. I don't think it's a few. Because you're talk, now we're going into what about corporate America? What you know what I mean? What about executives? Even in the hood, the, the pretty girl with the blonde hair is gonna get more play. And you know what I mean? More free shit at the bodega. There's always something to better, yeah. even in the lowest, you know what I mean, even in the lowest bracket by appropriate. Yeah, but White women. Yeah, we will. We like, I know a lot of black people about to get mad at me, but okay. I think we're, we're, we're very hypocritical on a lot of stuff, and that's one of them. I mean, that's just one of, the, one of the many things, like, you know, it's a fact that, and I think, and I think it, it all it boils down to, the, what it all boils down to really is, again, we deal with self-hatred, right? Of course. You know, it's, it, that's what it boils down to, because at one point, you was like, okay, we don't, you know, we were the, I don't know. But you have some women who do wear the blonde hair, but you can't get mad at uh, 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 white women when they do the cornrows, and you know you walk around with blonde hair. But again, like if it's a if it's a sister and she's natural, she has all every right in the world to complain about it because she. I, I agree. Yeah, I agree. But that's 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 normally not the case. From, from, know, the, from the debates I've had, that's not. <laughs> you know. Because there's there's usually a chick with about 15 cornrows underneath one of these saying that Kim Kardashian shouldn't be wearing braids. Well, they, well, you know, you know, you know, they, they always gonna have a problem with Kim, Kim Kardashian because she's with Kanye, you know. So there's always going to be that issue. You, you know? but, but wait, you know, like but Kim Kim Kardashian isn't white, but oh, yeah, she is. To to, to America, see, to America, she is, but she's not white. But she's white. She she lives as a white woman. She doesn't she doesn't live as a as an Armenian woman. Like you know, you know, you, 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 and you know what brothers are like. You know what brothers are like. She ain't white. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She ain't white. <laughs> she but but yeah. you're right. She's Armenian, but she is living like a white woman. And her she's father like, is Armenian. White. Her mama is snowflake white, Caucasian. Snowflake white. Okay, well, well, mama is white, her daddy is Armenian. He's so, white. Yeah, that's true. He, he, his daddy's Armenian. So are we are we gonna um just everybody cultural appropriate accordingly and make it do what it do and leave no, I, think, I think in my opinion, right? I just think that we should like we definitely have to love have a love for ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, but I'm gonna let this. That's why I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna let this little gray kind of grow out, you know. Um, but what I, think, about you, I ain't got gray yet. Your wife just, your wife just, and, and she reiterate, Mark, you better read my comment. She said that <laughs> she's just being funny. That's all. <laughs> she cracked. I think, I think that. I think that, um, you know what I mean? I think black artists could stand their ground, but I think that they're capitalists like a lot of other people. Absolutely. You know, but they, they could stand their ground. I mean, and again, I go back to the 60s and 70s. Everybody was afroed up, okay? They were too black, too strong, afroed up. This is what it was. And then, you know, as time went on, people were like, but if you go blonde, you can make more money. And motherfuckers said, okay. All right, where's that wig at? You know what I mean? All of them, Beyonce, Mary J. Blige, Brown, they all do it. That's but why they, they, sell, they sell the most records. It's changing. Is it? It's reversing because you know, right now you see more black women who are going down. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. There is yeah. absolutely. And I, and I think it's a beautiful thing. I think it's awesome. Um, you know, but anytime Beyonce could, could play Super Bowl under a blonde wig 
and her Black Panther dancers all have afros. Come on. Like, how does that make sense? It's a, <laughs> it's a motherfucking oxymoron. It is an oxymoron. And people were like, oh, shit. Look at Beyonce. Yes. She's rapping for the Black Panthers. She's rapping for the Black Panthers on a knee of my wig. And her dancers had afros. What, what in the fucking oxymoron is this? Images are very important. That is kind of crazy. But you know what? You know what type of image that is? That's the image for who? It's not for us. No. Not for us. Got so some it's record. Called, it, it's called playing the game. But you think that's entirely true to me, y'all? What? That is not just the image for us. Just keep no, this in mind. Most, most, I'm many, saying, many black people, many black people believe in a blonde hell, blue eyed Jesus. Yeah, we I go. don't. So if 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 many black people, I don't believe. I know you don't, I don't believe. Many black people believe. I don't believe Jesus had blonde, blonde and blue eyes. Right, right. So if many black people believe in a blonde hair, blue eyed Jesus, right. So you don't think that when they're when they're telling Beyonce and the rest of these women, right, wear blonde hair, blue eyes, that they don't take that. That subcontract. Sub One thing about what 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 uh, uh, marketing companies do is that they don't they don't when they when they market they don't market you know directly to us they market to our subconscious mind. That's right. just our marketing, you know. And, and they get, you know they get their marketing uh, strategy from Hitler, which is which is they, that's where the marketing strategy came from. Hitler, who tapped into the subconscious mind. So when they when they marketing, sure. you said well now. You know, there's a picture of Beyonce mm -hmm. that's just like the Jesus picture where she's kind of like this. And when you put it side by side to the blonde, blue eyed Jesus, it is the spitting image. Like she purposely did that. Like she purposely, like this is what I'm talking about. Like yeah. when Beyonce performed at the Super Bowl and they were like, oh my God, she's doing the Black Panther. I'm like, Beyonce plays both sides of the fence. Because like Simeon said, who was that for? Who was that for? Beyonce, that like, did they give me a hot sauce of uh, ketchup? It really um, oh Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. Yeah, you disrespectful. Who? You disrespectful. You really on my live at the drive-thru? Hey, I got to go get these people food. What you want me to do? <laughs> oh, my God. I got to get this food. I'm going to jump on this live. Oh, 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 Popeye's chicken pay you for advertisement. <laughs> you say what happened? Oh, Popeye's chicken pay you for advertisement. So, oh, okay. so, you know, in my hey. opinion, Pop stars Maybe. like that, they play both sides of the fence. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, I'll go on this, this fake ass Black Panther thing and I'll and I'll put my dancers in afros. But you know, for my white fans, I want you to know I'm still coming in this blonde wig. Right? So it's like playing both sides of the fence. You know, it's safe and it sells lots and lots of records. And then her next album, she can say, you know, what the fuck I care when there's a billion dollars on the elevator. Right, she can tell you how much money that made her. So these artists, they play both sides of the fence. When I was saying yeah, that, I, when I was saying that Friday, when we had the Bill Cosby discussion, you want to chop my head off about when I was saying that they the same thing you just said. I said they play both sides. Cool. You got to tell me in what context because you be flipping stuff. <laughs> <laughs> artists, yeah. well, artists do what you just said. They play both sides. You know. They, they, you, 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 you black, but you don't be too black enough to fend your white audience. Oh, so why, why would I make that when I agree with that? No, no, no. I agree with that. Did they let Bill Cosby out of jail? He's, he's about don't to get it. Me to me, uh, I hope he he I'm waiting to hear he die from a heart attack. Woman, Say what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, and I will, and I will rejoice, and I'm going to celebrate, and then that's going to be my, my on the block with Jen is motherfucker finally died. Oh, you don't, you don't like, you don't like, um, Bill Cosby? Not at all. Not you don't like Bill Cosby, you don't like Kanye. Oh, what did he do? What Bill Cosby did? Kelly, Kelly. Kelly. I I Kelly. Listen, we, listen, my hour is up on the Culture Corporation. I am not going to end it with nobody's Dr. Huxtable. Okay. Well, I want to know what he did to you. I'm, I'm nobody's Dr. Huxtable. What did, he, what did he do to you? Just, just Google what he felt about black people in disenfranchised communities. Google the open letters. That was taken out of context. No, it wasn't. I read it verbatim. No. Yeah, yeah I, me too. Just Google that. <laughs> if, if you were college bound, if you weren't a fan of Dr. Huxtable, you wasn't shit to him and he made it clear. You, you, you know what he said in that in that same, you know, it's, it's, the, it's, it's called the, uh, what is it called? The, some pie cake? 
the banana pie, uh, the pound cake speech. So let me let me um, let me let me go back to the subject. Mark Randall says, I remember when pickle earrings were an outrage if seen on white women pissing off black and Latina social justice warriors. You fucking right. Okay, Mark Randall, you fucking right. These shits is ours, all right? And them damn Karen's jumped on it. These is ours. <laughs> uh, okay, so, all right, I guess we are done then. It was a great, great show, it was a great fun show today. No, this shit was hilarious, it was, I gotta admit, it was hilarious. We got Simeon and the drive through with Popeyes, we got the wifey chiming in on on the um, just for men. <laughs> we just found out I could grow an afro. We found out that you know if Mark lets his beard grow, he'll look like Santa Claus. Like <laughs> there, there was a lot of good shit in this show today. There was a lot of I'm not mad at it. Gene, <laughs> I, I don't. Gene, I don't appreciate you making fun of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. I don't, I, don't, I don't appreciate you and my wife team teaming up on me with the last team that you guys gotta come on. The and panel. Mark just be laughing. And Mark just be laughing his ass off. I told you. I was like, you, you want me to read it? You say, yeah, read it. Tell me, like, you better read it, Mark. So I also said Jen lost some cool points. You're a Bill Cosby hater. She take all my points. Take all my points. <laughs> all right, guys. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for tuning in once again to on the block with general we always gonna keep it real this one was funny so if you haven't seen it from the beginning rewind and i will do a watch party and replay it send me on any last words before you hop off blondes have more fun ah! <laughs> hey keep up the good work pick a hey, pick a topic where i can come on and i can um so I can, I can help you uh, beat up people and go back and forth. All right. All right, take it easy. All right, take care. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us again on The Black With Jen. You guys were amazing. Uh, the comments were fucking funny. Watch this from the beginning. I'm a hit watch party. And um, if you're just tuning in, uh, you have to get to the, go to the beginning of this live so you can understand why I'm wearing my my blonde and if you have you know a retort a rebuttal leave it in the comments i may or may not get back to you i may be on something else tomorrow all right guys peace bye <laughs> on the black gym peace